Hi folks, this is another quick video from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. I'm Trevor Lewis. We are talking about SolidWorks again, and this time we're going to revolve. So revolve means that you're going to spin something around. So you take a profile and an axis and you re revolve it. And any air you push out of the way by doing that becomes a solid. So the axis can be attached to the, to the profile or it can be separate. I'm going to show you both ways. So I've got two sketches here, sketch one and sketch two. Sketch one, you can see, is just a custom drawn shape. If I select it and I choose revolve, it's going to automatically assume that I'm revolving this whole shape, but it doesn't know the axis of revolution. So that's blank. So which line do I want to revolve it around? I have three straight lines here, so those are my only three choices. If I choose this line, I end up with a shape like that. And if I right click over here and choose delete, I can try a different line. right click delete I actually want this line that's what I want so I'm gonna leave that I like it I can hit the check mark okay so that's a revolution around an edge that is attached to the sketch so there's no hole in the center my sketch 2 I have a straight line in a circle so it's not not drawn hand drawn if I choose revolve here it has a lot more questions for me the axis of revolution is gonna be the straight line the sketch contour is going to be the circle Oh, look, there was actually two put in here. Oh, let's see. Let me try that again. This is my axis line of revolution, but I've got two here. I'm not sure which one the right one is, so I can delete them both, or I can delete until I get something. Ooh, look at that. So this is actually making a hollow donut because it automatically turned on thin feature, but if I turn off thin feature, it's going to make a solid donut. So you can see how it revolves around. Right now I'm going 360 degrees, but I can go less than that, and you can see what that looks like as I just go slowly down like this. If I turn back on thin feature, you can see it's 10 millimeters thick. If I set if I set that to two millimeters thick, I'm gonna end up with a little bit thinner of a hollow donut. That's the revolve feature. The way I explain this to my students is if you were thinking about the solid and you were gonna cut it like a cake, the center of all those cake slices is the axis of revolution. And if I cut my object like a cake and every single slice looks the same on the sliced plane then that is a revolution and you should use revolution to make your object so that is how i explain revolutions and that's how you do it in solidworks watch my other videos to learn about extruding sweeping and lofting